I'm Li Jun from Microsoft Research. I'm going to present a paper named Fighting the Fog of War, Automated Incident Detection for Cross Systems. This is a joint work between Microsoft Research, Asia 365, the University of Newcastle, the University of Chinese Academy of Sciences. Reliability is very important for crowd enterprises. The state-of-art crowd reliability has achieved five to six nines. However, crowd reliability issues still exist. The industry leading crowd vendors will suffer from it. Particularly, tough incidents and outages still take a long time for mitigation. Critical outages can cause widespread impact and huge cost. Therefore, we should continue pursuing better crowd reliability. In this work, we share our experience about automated incident detection for Azure. Azure has a comprehensive monitoring infrastructure. The monitors report alerts when something unexpected is happening, such as API timeouts, operation warnings, and VM unexpected reboots. The alerts usually have different severities. In, in these two figures, we show the number of monitors and alerts from the big five services in Asia. They are all common services across all industrial cloud platforms. We can see the number of monitors is gradually increasing. This is due to the platform scaling up and the monitoring capability getting improved. Only a small portion of the alerts are of high severity, but the absolute number is still large. In the right figure, we show the main fields of uh, alert. You can see the ID and title. We can know which service or team is reporting this alert. Each alert is handled by an engineer who is the owner. The alert has a start time and when it gets mitigated, there is the mitigation time. That engineer is working on the alert. She could leave some diagnosis logs to record the procedure. As the alert is from a monitor, we also have the monitor ID. Most of alerts are manual issues, but sometimes the alerts could turn into instance. Instance means severe situations, such as the situation with customer impact taking a long time to resolve or requiring cross-team collaborations. In this work, we are focused more on the cross-team collaboration situation. Here is an example. Some storage accounts are affected by a fraud configuration. Later, the, impacted, the, the, the impact propagates to the SQL and web application. When the engineers get alerts, they look at the problem component by component. Large scale cloud systems are developed and operated by hundreds of teams. So they typically look at the problem from a local view, like inside the fog of war, it's difficult to have a big picture of the problem. It usually costs a prolonged time before they realized they should work in a collaborative manner. In this special case, it takes over 15 minutes and after several rounds of back and forth communications before they realize and declare the incident. After that, a cross-team bridge meeting is initiated to bring the chaos into order. All the affected services were drawn the meeting Declaring incidents as soon as possible can save significant time for incident management. In this right figure, we show the histogram of the time to declare incident. You can see a tear of cases with low latency. The major reason for this is due to the aforementioned local view problem. As a result, our goal in this work is to detect incidents in an automated way from a global view. There is a great number of work on fault detection and localization for cloud systems. They are usually focused on individual problems. Recent years, there is a training interest on time series anomaly detection, but in our work, we are more focused in detecting incidents based on the alerts from the monitoring infrastructure. We are aware that the crowd incident management has become a hot topic in the last few years. Our work belongs to this part. In this work, we propose Warden. Warden is an automated 
instant detection system, there are two key tasks. The first is to detect ongoing potential incidents from the alerts. The second is to provide hints for the engineers to diagnose and mitigate the problem. Especially, we extract a group of alerts that are related to the detected incident. For example, if the instance is across several services, we need to extract the alerts reported by each individual service and group them into what we call an instant indicating alert group. When an instant is detected, the alert group will be sent to world related engineers so they could initialize a bridge meeting to take diagnosis and mitigation actions. There are four components in our system. We first select a set of good monitors that are most effective in detecting instance. Then we extract features and fit them into our AMM model. When an instance is detected, we extract the instance indicating alert group and a notification is sent to all the engineers. In the following slides, I will introduce each of those components. Cloud systems like Azure have a large number of monitors emitting a huge volume of alerts. Most of these alerts are only for minor issues. Therefore, we need to select only a subset of the monitors which exhibit relatively strong association with the instance. So we could let the ML model to pick the right ones. But we don't have many instances. A sophisticated model could easily get overfitted and learn the rules that we don't, don't really want. The basic idea of our approach is to calculate the correlation between the monitors and the instance. One problem here is that there are different types of instance. Some may be more frequent than others, so we can't treat them equally. That's why we categorize all the instance into different subtypes. There are different ways to do this. And here, in our work, we divide them into subtypes based on their responsible teams. The responsible team of an instance is the team which finally resolves the problem. Therefore, instances owned by different teams usually have different root causes. We use the weighted mutual information to calculate the correlation between each pair of RTG subtype and the monitor. The final score of a monitor is the sum of the mutual information across all the instance subtypes. We rank the monitors based on the score and select the top monitors for a following prediction task. The instant detection problem is a binary classification problem. Basically, we create a ML model which is looking at the incoming alert stream and makes decision whether a potential incident is breaking out. In order to train such a ML model, we collect the historical data and calculate and organize the data into sliding windows. The window size is three hours because most alerts are reported within three hours during an incident. We label the windows in this way as shown in, in the figure. If the window is overlapping with the incident impact duration, we label it as positive, otherwise negative. We extract three groups of features from each window. The first group is alert signals. For example, we count the number of alerts from each monitor. The second group is related to engineer activities. One observation is that the engineers usually leave a lot of diagnosis logs when they are working on something urgent. Also, when they suspect their services are impacted by another service, they will send notifications for confirmation. Finally, we include time and region information. We choose to use the balanced random forest classification model because our data is biased. The number of instances is usually very small compared with the normal situations. Knowing only if there is any incident is not enough. When we detect something wrong, we need to understand who should get involved to handle the issue. 
Especially, we need to know which alerts are related to the detected incident. Therefore, we first group the, the alerts based on a set of rules. For example, if we found two monitors are highly correlated in history, or if the if the two alerts are filed in the from the same cluster, essentially, we want to understand if multiple alerts are caused by the same root cause. When we have the signal groups, we designed a model interpretation algorithm to understand the co the contribution to uh, of each signal group to the prediction result. And our algorithm is called GSV, which is group Shapley value. This process is different from existing model interpretation work. They are more focused on understanding the impact of individual features in each sample, but we care more for the whole signal group. More details about the GFSV algorithm could be found in our paper. Once emerging incidents are detected, we notify all the engineers who are working on the alerts that are related to the detected incident. Before the notification, they may be working on some other tasks, but when they receive this notification, they understand this is a alert of high priority. They will reprioritize their tasks and have a brief discussion to confirm the case. Once it, it is confirmed, they will form a cross-team collaboration group and have an online bridge meeting to fix the problem. So far, we have talked about the technical part. We collected 18 months datasets for evaluations. The data is from 26 major services on Azure, including the big five services we have mentioned previously. Some services are backed up with hundreds of people the 26 services correspond to around 72% of all the Azure incidents. We evaluated volume from several aspects. First, we compare its detection accuracy with other baselines, including anomaly detection algorithms and our previous work, namely Air Alert. We can see all the output performs all the baselines in terms of accuracy. We also care about how fast can Borden detect the instance. Therefore, we compare the detection time with manual declaration time in history from our dataset. We can see for most cases, Borden is faster than human, especially for those which take a long time to declare. Finally, we want to understand if the extracted instant indicating signals are correct. So we compare the extracted alerts with the ground truth for each instant. We use the jacket index to compare the two sets. We can see around half of all the cases will achieve a perfect alignment. And for, for the rest of them, Warden still does a good job. We also evaluated the important system parameters, including how many monitors are selected for detecting for detection and how much data is required for training. We can see in the left figure that when the number of monitors increases, we see the performance improvement. However, when the number passes 150, the gain becomes minor. Therefore, we selected 150 mo monitors. Actually, we will re-evaluate this periodically to find the optimal number as the system evolving. The right two figures show the results about data requirements. In our system, we use the last 12 months data for training, and we train a model on a weekly basis, which is enough to achieve a good accuracy. We now conclude our work. We propose Warden, which is a framework for automated instant detection. We not only detect the potential instance, but also extract related, related signals for the engineers we carry out extensive experiments on the data from 26 services on Asia to show the effectiveness of, and Warden is now deployed in the instant management platform of Asia. That's the end of my presentation, and thanks for watching.